So, if you could, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about your parents. Well, my mom is one of the most fun-loving and one of the biggest inspirations in my life itself. Uh, pretty much what I want to do in the future is kind of based off of what she's doing right now. Um, I love that she has always supported me through everything and she is always there for me and knows what's best for me and I can always go to her for advice and like she doesn't judge me. What will you miss most about your mom? Um, I think it's just the constant attention, really, to the attention to detail when it regards to my grades and to the things she's done for me here. Um, she took a lot of sacrifices when it came to getting me where I am at American Heritage, so I owe a lot to her. And I think I'm going to definitely miss um, having her around, you know, being there for me when I need it. Well, definitely the fact that she's she's always been there for me, and that's why she's like in the PTO, she's always trying to help me directly, like as much as she can. And um, her cooking, definitely another thing that I'm going to miss. And just having her nearby. My mom is a very special person. Um, anybody who doesn't go to school here, a lot of times people will ask, oh, does it like really suck having your mom as your principal? And I see how that would be like a normal thing, that it would not be a good thing. Um, but especially everybody who goes to school here knows that it's just not the case for me. Um, everybody loves my mom, in my experience, and it's really, really nice having somebody so important to me, you know, everybody that really appreciates them. Um, there was um, a time in the first semester of senior year just now that I was really stressed out um, and I was working on college apps and everything. Um, and it was a very uncertain time and my mom decided to take me for the weekend um, to the beach and we just stayed at the beach and I was writing my college essays there and it was really lovely um, and she was just so supportive. She's really funny. Um, she jokes with me a lot. She's very honest and upfront with me when there are situations to be dealt with. She's just like very straightforward. Um, like I said, she's really funny. She can always make me laugh. She's really smart and intelligent. She was a nurse and then a case manager, so she has all of this medical knowledge that she like imposes on me every single day um, whenever I have a question about anything, about like my health or like anyone else's health. She always like knows what to talk about. Um, she's really interesting and I think she's one inspiration as to why I want to go into the health field so much. My mom has been very supportive in whatever I do. Um, and she just wants me to be happy all the time. And a lot of my friends like her. They think she's really cool and that they're better than her, their moms and that they really like her. And she's supported and like encouraged everything I've done and my school and she's pushed me to be the best I can in every way. Uh, I know the day of the breakfast in the morning, she showed up with one of her friends and it was just crazy how like they could like just be there for us when I, I know a lot of parents didn't even go to the breakfast, so it was just uh, it was just cool to me that she was just there to, for me and just you know to see me in my last moments of high school. I just really appreciate it. She really helps me out all the time with um, a lot of life advice. She's had so many experiences and. I really enjoy um, our car rides and talking to her and gaining a lot of wisdom and insight. And she always has the right thing to say in so many of my life situations. I've gone to her and asked for advice and it's really helpful. She's, that she's young, that she understands a lot of what I understand. She's still, you know, she's still an adult, but she can put herself in my shoes and then put herself in my situation. Like whenever she mispronounced a word or I bullied her, she bullied me, just making fun of each other. Just all the jokes. Too many to count. <laughs> Thank you, Mom, for everything. Um, it's going to be really, really hard being at school without you. And it's like one of my favorite things about going to school here is that you're here. And I'm going to miss you so, so, so much. And I love you a lot. Well, yeah, she like traveled everywhere with me for volleyball and like to Atlanta, to Chicago. Um, and she went to mo like most of the games like every time. And she was like the team mom sometimes. And she would always help me with my volleyball because she played volleyball in college. So she, even if I didn't want to play in college, she still supported my playing until like the day I stopped. Mom, I just want to thank you for everything. Uh, I know that I hate getting my picture taken when I'm with my friends, but I know that 
Uh, you truly cherish and care about all of the memories that I'm having right now. And I understand why you want to take these pictures even though I really don't want that. Um, and above all, just thank you and I really do appreciate what you've done through the PTO and how you've always been at almost all of the honors breakfasts and even the senior breakfasts which you uh, put on an amazing, uh, just an amazing event and an amazing breakfast for all of us. Thank you. I don't know what I'm going to do next year without her. I'm definitely going to be FaceTiming her nonstop because um, she has the most profound impact on my life and has made me who I am. Um, and she is just the most beautiful um, soul in the entire world. Um, and I'm so lucky to have her. And I'm very excited um, to continue um, trying to make her proud. And I'm so lucky that she supports me because I am literally the worst. I am double majoring in two arts, like humanities things. Like the fact that she supports me in that, I think is pretty insane and she does every day. Um, and I, I, I just don't know what I'd do without her. So thank you, mom. Thank you, mom, for playing such a huge role in my school life and just, you know, obviously my life in general. But thank you for being there and being here literally since I came here in kindergarten to all the way up to now and just playing such an active role in the classroom and taking the time to get to know my teachers and get to know my friends and my peers and everything because you being around all of these years has definitely been a huge like supportive like presence for me and I don't know what I would have done if you weren't like always around always knowing what was going on and just like being present and so caring and so loving all the time so like thank you just for being you because you're amazing. <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> thank you so much for like raising me and making me who I am. Um, I really could not have gotten where I am without you. You've always, you know, done what's best for me. Um, and I can't, I really just can't think of anything that you've done that's been like a negative to my life. Um, like even through like all of our disagreements, I think we have so much in common and I'm so glad to be like you. And yeah, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Finally, gonna stop eating all the food in the fridge after 18 years, sorry about that. Should've had a daughter. Um, but yeah, thanks for everything and I love you. I really wanna thank you, Mom, for all the years you've been in PTO, because I know you don't do this for you, you're doing it for me. And it's just all the dedication, all the work you've put in, it just really shows how much you care about me. And uh, even though in college I'm not going to see you as often, I'm always going to be thinking of you. And I just want to really, again, thank you for everything you've done. So, yeah. Anything else you want to say about your mom or to your mom? Um, I love you. I, I don't think I can live anymore than I have. She's my mother. It's one of those things that are just kind of wired into you, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I always love my mother, just no matter what she does to me. Or what I do to her, I always love her, you know?